Hi everyone, it's Kathy McMorris Rogers from Eastern Washington. I'm so grateful to be able to share a few words with you virtually for this year's National Cancer Prevention Workshop. This is a cause close to my heart, as I'm sure all of you have a loved one, friend, or neighbor who's battled cancer. In fact, an estimated 1.8 million people in the United States received that gut-wrenching news in 2020 alone. Over the past two decades, scientists have estimated that more than half the cancers could be prevented by applying the knowledge we now have. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted our lives and made it all too easy for cancer screenings to be forgotten about. So let this be your reminder to see your doctor for your regular screening. It may just save your life. In Congress, I've long supported policies to improve access to life-saving cancer screenings, as well as research for new treatments, none of which would be possible without the incredible work of everyone at Less Cancer. Now more than ever, we need advocates like you to be a part of the conversation on Capitol Hill. We need to work together to advance bipartisan policies that will empower American innovation and bring life-saving cures to patients who need it most. What we cannot afford are dangerous policies that would institute price controls, add unnecessary bureaucratic layers to biomedical advancement, and ultimately hinder innovation. That's why I'm leading the Lower Cost, More Cures Act to spur more private investments for innovative treatments, to lower the cost of prescription drugs without jeopardizing life-saving cures, and deliver life-changing results for patients who need it most. Americans are longing for more breakthrough research and the chance to turn hope into reality. So, on behalf of your family members, patients, and loved ones, keep making your voices heard. And remember, the hope for life-saving treatments and cures is here in America. Together, we can win the future of biomedical innovation and find a cure. Thank you again, and may God bless you.